What's going on guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to County Line. Oh, yes, yes. Loving it here on County Line, guys. Um, I felt it was time that we finally gave our Kubota a clean. Look at how dirty this tractor is. It's a mess. Let's grab this wand. Go to town here quickly. Um, God, we're in, we're in the spring, guys. We're in the spring. Things are uh, looking pretty good for us. You know, I'm glad we didn't plant yesterday. I was thinking about it for a bit. I thought about planting. Last night, we got hammered with some snow. It melted right away. It was snowing. It got really cold. And then uh, as soon as the morning came, it turned to rain. And, well, you can see our everything is kind of soaking wet still. Um, our crops are all still really wet. It's still really wet everywhere, but there's no more snow. In fact, all the snow that we had around the farm. Can I get rid of all the dirt in here? I don't think I can. No. Um, the snow that we had that was kind of built up, well, along that fence line right there, she's all gone now. So that's all good to go. We'll jump in the Kubota here, get this off the ground. We'll go put this away. Um, guys, I've expanded some few, a few things. Well, first of all, if you look in that direction, you can see a bunch of Florida oranges behind us. We're expanding that orchard, guys. We're making a mint on the orchard right now. So my plan is to expand that as much as physically possible. So, starting off, guys, we got to go take care of that. Let's get to work. Good or bad? Clutch simulation. Alright, so we just did a quick inspection on all our trees. We're getting low on water already, low on manure. Oh man, it never ends around here. The trees, the cattle, everything is always uh, under under work here. We always seem to have to do something. Um, always work around the farm. Let's uh, get to work getting some manure going for these these all these oranges. Man, we got so many oranges. Um, we're making about what are we making? Over the night, I made forty thousand. I think is what the uh, the total income was over the night. Something like that. Um, over a couple hours, I think it was over like 10 hours. Oops, a little low. A little low. Let's even get that a little higher. There we go. That's better. Um, so we're making some pretty decent cash when it comes to the oranges. And the uh, we've got a couple of apples too, but I think we're going to focus on the oranges. Oranges is really what we're doing here. This is more of an... It's, it's Florida oranges, right? Does Florida have apples? They must. They must, right? I have no idea. <laughs> um, we're worried more about the oranges, let's be honest. But uh, let's just keep on... Whoa! Getting this manure. I've got a whole other side where there's manure as well. I could grab that. It's just this is where I've been kind of storing everything right now. I'll probably have to move over there eventually. I'm going to have to figure out a better system for this for loading as well. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a conveyor belt system might work better, guys. <sighs> this is just a bit... It's a bit of a pain. It's not bad. I do enjoy doing this kind of work, but the more we grow with this, the more we're going to need. And to be able to come here and do 20 buckets every time... It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a pain. Um, it's not bad, but you know, it, it's it's just a bit of a pain. Ah, uh, I don't know. We're getting to the point now where I feel like we can start upgrading things a little bit, a little bit, and that's kind of what we're going to be doing today, actually. But not with this, <laughs> not with this at all. Whoa, nice. Um, I am so glad we didn't plant those fields, though. Oh, I think we would have lost some crop if we would have planted last night. I was not expecting that. It didn't really show anything in the forecast either for it. It just all of a sudden showed up. And it was down in the negative digits there. So we're up at 9 degrees Celsius right now. I think it was down to minus 2 or something like that last night. And that was in spring still. So now we're into mid-spring. We shouldn't have that problem. But uh, we got to plant today. We have to start getting on, on our planting. That's going to be... Once we get this orchard taken care of and, well, some help around here, that's really what we're going to be taking care of. All right. So we're all full up there. You know what? Let's just take a quick look and see what our cows are worth. I haven't been over here for a day. Uh, we can give him some water too, actually. Let's just crank this bad boy open. There we go. Fill that right up. Um, let's see what they're worth right now. Uh, so we're up to $4,000. Oh, that's good. Okay, they keep on going up. I'm really watching this just to see. As long as their price tags are going up, that is key. Uh, these are the new ones we just purchased. Like I said, they, every year we're going to buy some. I'm hoping that that's going to be the way it's going to work out. We'll see. I don't know if it's going to be every year. If that's the best way to do it. We're gonna find out though. So right now we've bought 25 the first year. They're up to four grand a pop. So they've increased in value, what, 15, 2,500 bucks. Um, the ones we just bought have not really increased that much yet, but they're getting there. Anyways, so pretty happy about that. That's not bad. Um, now, as for the manure, ugh, I got all our tractors back at the shop. They're all kind of getting prepped right now. I want all the guys work on those, get them going. So let's see, can this handle this trailer? Um, this could be... A, yeah, it'll do it, I'm sure, right? I'm sure it can. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Let's go. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta make do with what you got. And this is what we got. 
So we're gonna make do, maybe? Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Guys, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, come on, baby. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I could use the Kubota, I guess. I don't think I'm gonna have a choice, guys. I thought maybe I could get away with this. It's, it's not looking like I can use it. Can I get going? Can I, if I can just get to some trees and maybe unload some? No, I can't. <sighs> so much for that idea. So I'm even going to leave a little bit in the bucket here. A full load, actually. Oh, crash counter. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, just to give me a little bit of weight. And that might help a little bit because this is still going to overload this tractor too. Whoa. All right, we should be good, I think. With this setup, perfect. Put the roll the roof on. Let's go down to the far side, and we'll show off the uh, well the new area. I mean, we've got a half dozen trees over there now. So between those trees, um, and oh, don't forget our horse area. We got the eight horses that are making us some good money now too. Yeah, we're doing decently for for cash day to day now, guys. Day to day, we're making some decent money. I haven't even looked at what our cattle are doing yet. That's something we have to take care of this summer. Everything's coming up pretty good. Let's see. Can I sneak through here? Yes, we can. It's funny, actually, this manure that's on this front load is actually... I think it's its more weight than it's required. I feel like the tail end's bouncing more than it should be. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now I'm totally stuck. Oh, I've had this happen once before. All right. Well, let's drop this. We'll see if we can find a way to get through here. Come on. Come on. And this is the fight. Come on, get on through. Come on, you know you can do it. Alright, so here is the new area. Like I said, we've got two trees over there, which I ran out of money. I was expecting to be able to do more. I probably could put more now. But uh, all the rest of them are all over in this neck of the woods. So, you know what? Let me just drop this front load off right now. Because this is kind of not working so well for me. I thought this would work better to have more weight up front. It seems to be more of a hindrance. Than a help. Uh, oh, 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 I think that's too much. Can I pick this up now? Oh, good. I can pick up a whole bunch. Um, that's strange. How much should I get out of that? I got a ton, it looks like. I can't even really tell because it doesn't show me the front bucket. Dump this one over here. I think that that should be enough. I don't even know. It doesn't really show me the, the specs on that. Um, we'll take a look at the menu here just to see how our trees are all looking. Let's see if I can get close to this one on the right. Oh, come on. Climb, climb, climb. Now I'm wishing I had a more weight. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a good thing we didn't bring the little John Deere over here. It would not have worked. Well, there we go. Perfect. 100%. Get all these trees up to 100% so they're maximized. And then we can not worry about them. Get back to planting. Perfect. So, like I said, guys, we're going to be making some decent cash from all of these things. The, the hourly rate, the hourly income now in these placeables is really going to start paying off. Um, I'm pretty happy where we're at. We can kind of spend a little bit freely and not worry about going if we go too much in. Now, I still owe 150000 something like that, but I'm really not even worried about it. Um, maybe once we get to, into the summertime, once our equipment or once our, our fields are all are seeded, everything's ready to go for harvest, maybe that's when we'll start looking at that and worrying about our debt uh, because we'll have time to pay it off. But right now, I want to buy. I want to buy everything. I want to buy fields. I want to buy equipment. Man, we've got lots of stuff I want to buy. <laughs> I just want to spend, spend, spend. So if you're about the company credit card, we're going to get to it right away here. Let's uh, go park this. We're done on this one. I'm going to go take care of that other little orchard on the other side, make sure it's all good to go. And then we're going to go buy some stuff. 20,000 liters of manure is gone. That's it. Uh, we used it all. Um, it's pretty much perfect, actually. Right now, what we got set up here, it's that whole tipper wagon full of manure. goes to every single tree, and we are done. Now, I've heard a couple people saying, I thought you should set up a uh, set up a greenhouse. I thought about it, to be honest. I'm not lying. I thought about that. Maybe right up over on the side there, that might be a good spot for it. We'll see. That's something we're considering. We may do that. That might be something we can do. Oh, 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 don't knock over the weight. Come on. We'll fix that up. There we go. We can leave this right here. Awesome. 
Um, I thought about putting a greenhouse kind of over in that direction, right in front of that shed, basically. There's that open green space right there that I thought about making a parking lot. I thought about doing that as kind of a greenhouse area. We'll see. That might be a plan for some point. They're not too expensive. 9,000 bucks. You get a return of about 110 an hour, something like that, I think. So, like, right in here, we can put a couple of them, maybe three. I don't know. We'll see. That's something to consider for sure. Uh, it'd be nice and close to both water and manure. So, you know what? Both of those are great options. Now, like I said, guys, it's upgrade time. We got the cash. We can afford to do what I want to do. Let me just take a quick look here what we got. So, the guys, we're looking at our tractors. We got all four of our John Deere's here. We can get rid of this screen. And, well, these three here, we've been kind of wanting to keep. Now, I've got the 5 Series, which is kind of like our bale trailer. We picked the bales, our bale trailer, bale tractor. It's our general work tractor on the farm that does have another use because it has skinny tires available to it as well. So we do able, we are able to get into the fields with this one and fertilize, which is always nice. The 7810, um, I really like this tractor. This is just a nice looking tractor, about 170, 180 horsepower, somewhere in that range. Kind of a mid-range tractor. And then, of course, our 68, uh, or 8530, sorry. I believe we're at 600 horsepower with this one. So this one is by far the biggest tractor we got. And it does a lot of work because it's so big. Now, we've got a 4640 over here now. I know a lot of you guys like this tractor a lot. Oh, man. I do like it as well, but it's getting old. It's two-wheel drive only, which is probably its bigger downfall. And it's these wide tires on it are a bit of a pain just because they are so wide. I don't like the tint. I don't like driving it because of the tint, so I don't end up driving it. So I think it's time we just got rid of this one. I think the 4640's got to go, guys. So I've got a plan. We're selling this off today. Let's go meet to what we're buying. We're going to go take this over to the shop. All right, so we're ready to go. Like I said, guys, this is not a bad tractor by any sense of the imagination. Let's, think, let's, let's, let's listen to it fire up. <laughs> no, it's a good tractor with that. Like I said, it's just, oh man, I just don't enjoy driving it in here. I just don't enjoy the cab. Um, everything else is fantastic, but it's just what it is. So I was going to, it was a toss up between this and the 7810. I just enjoy the 7810 a bit more, personally, personal opinion. Um, they're about the same horsepower, so uh, all the other things considered, that tractor is more useful for me. Let's just leave this up on here. Perfect. Good to go. We'll leave it up on top. And we're going to take this over to the uh, the dealership. Trader in. Now, we're not buying a brand new tractor. We found something. You know what? It's not even that much newer. But it's a couple more horsepower. And I think it's going to be kind of a fill a void for us. It's going to be a middle stop gap. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if it'll work for what I'm planning on using it for. They're kind of in the middle there. Um, like I said, I want to be a little over that 250, like 220, 240 horsepower, somewhere in that range. And that's exactly where this one's going to sit. So we'll head over that way and we'll, uh, we'll look at it when we get there. All right, guys. So we're at the shop. County Line Farm Supply. There's our 4640. Ready to go back. Trading in on the 4960. Um, yeah, obviously the used tractor. Not bad. Very similar. I think it must be pretty close to the same generation. To be perfectly honest. Nice thing about the, 40, the 4960, four-wheel drive. That is one of the big things. Um, as well, we're a little over 200, I think 220 horsepower, somewhere in that range. That's nice. That ain't bad as well. So two big changes with this tractor um, that I'm going to literally enjoy having. The extra horsepower, of course, and four-wheel drive. So it's really not much more. I think it's maybe 20,000 bucks uh, is the change on this one. So uh, we're going to get rid of the 4640. Driving home the 4960. Let's get this fired up. We're going to put it up into our truck. Uh, we'll load her up right now as well. The interior view on this one, it's not as bad with the tint. The tint is still here. Another one will do with the tint. But it's not quite as bad. Nice. All right. Let's get this thing loaded up into place. I like it. All right. So the 4640, guys, we're going to go sell that off. Make sure we get some cash back for that. Um, it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. They could only 25,000 bucks, something along those lines. They're just not in that desire, or much desire, I guess. They're not really a wanted tractor. That's too bad. <laughs> uh, let's see if I get this nice and centered on here. Perfect. Awesome. All right, there we go. 4960 is loaded and ready to go. We just got to hook it up to our truck. Let's go. Uh, let's go do it. Head back to the shop. All right, we're going to get right to work, guys. No messing around here. We're getting down to business. 
Uh, now they've promised me that they've done an inspection on this and it's good to go. It better be. <laughs> uh, where is, there it is. So the field I want to work on guys, we're going to be putting some canola down. We haven't done any canola yet on this farm and uh, that's going to give us the closest or best multiplier that we are, have available right now. I do need some seed first and let's see how good I can maneuver this thing in to get some seed. The seed, as you guys remember, is inside the warehouse here. It's a bit of a pain to get into. Let's see if I can back this bad boy in there. Get her done. And the field that we're going to be working on in a second, well, it's one of our biggest fields, guys. It is going to be a massive canola harvest. It makes a good cash off that. Come on, get in there. This is an awkward little spot to try to get seed out of with some of these planters. I should probably get something else to do this with. Come on, right in there. There we go. Filling up with our seed. We've got a little bit of fertilizer in there already. I don't think I need to worry about that. We're just going to fill up with the seed and then head right out. Seeded and fertilizer filled. All right. So, the 4640 was struggling with these implements. These, so, I'm hoping that we now have enough power. I'm hoping that this tractor now has enough to do what we needed to do. Looks like it's pretty good so far. Just pulling it to get it over here. But, I mean, that means nothing until we get into this field. Let's find out. See how this thing's going to do. How does she do? Open her up. Hopefully I'm far enough away from everything in here. Looks close. Looks close. Alright. Wicked. Awesome. It's not on yet. There we go. It's on now. Drop it down. Perfect. Alright. Let's get to work. Come on. Oh, no. She's barely got enough power to. Oh, man. I thought for sure that this one here would have more than enough power to handle this, guys. But it looks like it's going to struggle just as bad as that. Uh, I thought it was only 225 horsepower for this device. Holy. It must be more than that. Maybe it's the other one I'm thinking of. I thought the planter was 224. Maybe it's a, maybe it's 400. Oh, yeah. That's a struggle. That is definitely a struggle. Hmm. Well, that's not going to do us any good, is it? Oh, man. What a waste. This was the whole purpose of buying this tractor. Oh, man. It was just so we could be able to pull this with some kind of efficiency. The upgrade didn't really help us, guys. Oh, I'm disappointed. Totally disappointed. I guess I should have bought a case. <laughs> All right. Well, so once again, the 8530 is the only tractor we're going to be able to use to tow this implement. Disappointed. Totally disappointed. <laughs> um, that's all right. I guess this is still currently the only piece of equipment that's, I think, requires more horsepower than. I'm pretty sure that other planter, the planter we have, should be able to be okay with that, uh, this tractor. With, oh man, I hope it's okay with 49 series. Uh, I was just really expecting it to be able to do this one as well. And, uh, didn't really plan it out completely, I suppose. So, it is what it is. At least this, the 8 series here can handle this, but man, still, I was planning on having two tractors that could kind of do everything, but it looks like once again, the 8530 guys is going to be a workhorse for a lot of our jobs. I was just hoping to give this tractor a bit of a break, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to happen today. Yeah, not today. It's, she ain't happening. All right, well, canola it is. This is our football 20,000 football field. I don't know what field this is. It's huge. Um, we finished off Lyman earlier, as you can see. Yeah, this is going to take me a bit to get going on this one. We'll probably do a headline and then get a worker bee going on here. Get some work done on this field. How many, how many rows is this? 32 row. I think someone was asking that earlier. It's a 32 row planter. Not bad. So we'll get some canola going on this. This should be a pretty profitable field once she's got done. Uh, we're getting fertilizer down right now. It'll do, I'll have to do some more fertilizing, of course, but first stage will be done at least right off the chute here, and then uh, we'll come back and do some more. We got that prepped and ready. I have to do some like, upgrading there. I wouldn't even mind getting a proper fertilizer unit instead of using that one that we've got, but I don't know if that's in the cards quite yet. All right, so we're almost wrapping this. Well, almost wrapping up. We got a worker bee going now. We'll get him to do the rest of this for us. We got other stuff to take care of. I want to see if we can get this tractor to do what I want to do. But the 8530 should be able to do everything I need here. This canola field should be good. In fact, let's take a quick look and see what we had here. So if we take a look into our seasons menu, uh, yeah, we've got wheat, 
we had sunflower and wheat and now we're going back to canola so those were the fields we've had in this particular field you can see we're down to 1.14 multiplier just because the sunflower and canola we may have to put something down next year on this field to maybe give it a rest we'll see we'll see what other options we have on this but right now it's not a full multiplier but still 1.14 is not bad that's going to give us a pretty good yield of canola cool there he goes let's run over here we're going to jump in to the 4940 uh, 4960 sorry 4640 4960 yeah i'm never going to remember that um let's go to our orchard here take one of our little orchard lanes uh, let's go see if we can get some planting done on the far side. Number field number 10, I believe, or field 11. We're on the far side. We'll get that cedar hooked up. We've got it sitting over in our uh, the annex right now, I think, actually. It's over in the annex here. We'll get that fired up, bring that over there, and i got to figure out what we're going to plant in that field. All right, let's get into the field. This is the small one over on this side. Oh, get out of the way. Nice. We've got our uh, DB90 or cedar right here. Now, this was a corn crop. I believe we did corn on this. We're doing another cereal crop to keep it up. Otherwise, we'll lose it. This will be a 1.2 multiplier on this. We're going to keep it with sunflowers, guys. Um, and that'll keep a hard multiplier going on this. Get a lot of sunflowers off this bad boy. All right, drop it down. Come on. And hopefully now that this tractor can hold up to what I need it to do. I'm sure it can because it's got to be able to handle this. Yeah, we're good here. Okay, so I can't remember now, the 46, uh, 4640, I'm pretty sure it can handle this crop, or this header, or this trailer, um, but it seems like, I'm hoping it's just a better job, I don't know, it, I'm a little disappointed guys, I wanted this, this tractor to be able to handle the other planter, not just this cedar, but uh, we'll take what we can get. Well, we will take what we can get, it's still an upgrade, it's just not nearly quite the upgrade I was hoping for. Uh, what do you do? I don't know if there's another intermediate one we can go to. To be honest, I think the 8530 that we've got with a smaller engine might be the only other thing that would be a good intermediate John Deere tractor to have. I don't know if there's anything else that is in that uh, span set that would work. Ah, man, maybe a 7 series? But we're going to do something a little bit newer now then. Ah, nothing in this kind of older range, unfortunately, that I've been able to find. So, I guess we're going to stick with this for the time being. We'll maybe advance something at some point, but uh, we'll, we'll, I think we'll stick with the four-wheel drive. At least we got four-wheel drive now, so it does tend to handle this type of stuff a little bit better. Not much, but maybe a little bit better. Eh, what do you do? Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, of course. And, of course, if you're not a subscriber, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And after that, we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.